welcome everyone to join us with just commentary so we're going to check out a video this video and i understood is a um annual seasonal um video not video but cultural um event just like sun crown which is a water festival this one is called vegetarian festival and of course i'm going to check it out um i was told that it's going to be a very interesting video so i can't wait to react to it of course thank you for requesting like us on facebook follow us on twitter guys if you would like me to react to the video don't forget leave a comment below send me a message on facebook send me a message for the gmail i'll be more than happy to try my best to react to you guys video request thank you so very much let's go ahead it's a rainy day on the eve of the ninth month of the lunar calendar the celestial nine emperor gods are invoked by the residents of Phuket, Thailand. Phuket. These nine emperor gods are deities that belong to the Chinese Taoist tradition. Yet the myths of these deities and the history of how the festival originated is somewhat uncertain. Thailand is a very rich cultural place. There's always something new, always a new event. Uh, wow, that's a lot of pigeons. <laughs> Food, brightness, it looks like a very oh clear how self mutilation became a tradition. Self mutilation, isn't that like adaptation of the it's in the Oh my god! I believe that the mutilation may be borrowed from the Hindus Tai Pu Sam festival in neighboring Malaysia. Did someone just have a thing going through their front their, their mouth their cheeks? Others believe that the people of Phuket wanted a special way to display <gasps> their utter devotion to the oh. What? And why do they have that blood thing just... Because the ancestors had faith in the ability of the nine emperor gods to heal and protect. This seems to provide adequate enough evidence to those who participate in the... Also, it's like they do this too. I mean, it's kind of scary to look upon. Don't tell me. It's kind of... Participation in the festival's ritual Ouch. does not require an understanding of the myths and their underlying meaning. So it's like they believe Anything by doing that, they'll, they'll be the healed after. The ancestors is rewarding enough and takes precedent over rationalizations. Yo! Doesn't that hurt? Are they going to do it live? The nine emperor gods are traditionally seen as the overlords of the nine stars that formulate the Big Dipper constellation. Seven stars are visible and two stars are not visible. Wow. These nine emperor gods are the children of the great goddess Daowu and are intermediaries on her behalf. It's always good to learn new things. And there's, there's always a rich culture, something new that I'm learning with regards to um, really John B. Leaves, Smith's. Phuket vegetarian festival is the use of songs. Vegetarian festival. I mean, when you hear vegetarian festival, I would never think that it involves the, the piercing and so on and so forth. songs will enter a trance and allow their cheeks or other parts of their body to be pierced. Yo, you, oh. While being possessed by the gods, they can bestow blessings on participants. This looks so painful. To cast out Mind you, I respect what they're doing. That is their belief. But it, it looks painful. It does. She had a whole thing through her mouth. What happens when they take it out though? They would just have a big gap in there. How do they eat? Like. Traditionally, it has been the belief among locals who have been informed by oral traditions that the festival was introduced in Phuket in the 1800s when Chinese migrant workers came to work in the tin mines. Soon after, the Chinese as well as the locals became very sick. At the same time, a Chinese opera came to Phuket to Oh my god, don't them they're hitting the back with that. And encourage them to honor Ooh. the nine emperor gods and participate in their rites. After following the ten rules of the festival, it is believed that those who were sick became healed. Wow. It's always good to learn and hear new things. 
There's always different beliefs and culture. Ooh, he have a passing light for his skin. Each morning, a street procession begins at one of the tower's shrines. So how long does this uh, event it last? Around the downtown area of Phuket. They said every morning, so that means it lasts and for a few days. Piercings are done hygienically by medical professionals at the shrine. Oh. Before they join the street procession. I want to see how they do. <laughs> oh my God. One. Maintain extreme what? body cleanliness during the festival. Two, use clean kitchen utensils that have not touched animal products. Three, wear white during the festival. Wow. Four, behave Be physically and mentally. Behave. <laughs> Five, no meat eating. Six, None whatsoever. No sex. Whoa. Seven, no alcoholic drinks. Ah. Eight, people mourning a loved one should not attend the festival. Nine, pregnant women should not watch any ritual. What? Ten, women in menstruation should not attend the ritual. That's a lot of rules. Wow. <sighs> They're gonna do it now? Oh my god! Yo! Look at the length of that thing! Mercy! They said they're medical profession. All of the rituals that are done during oh the my. have the purpose of dispelling evil from the community. I want to see when they're going to do it. I thought they're going to like. Oh my god, he's going to walk with this thing. Do they, did, did they numb the, uh, did they give it an injection for him not to feel it? Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. How does it? Oh my god! some serious testicular fortitude to endure this and they just <sighs> oh my goodness <sighs> wow there's a lot of culture in this world that oh there's a lot of culture in this world that is he again how many times is he doing it isn't that the same guy <laughs> God. there are a lot of 
cultures in this world which we have not discovered as human beings and like different practices. How long does it take to heal? Like, like, oh my gosh, that is some serious gods. But isn't that the same guy? Is he doing this again? a toothache or you never accidentally bite your inner cheek like you never bite in there how much it hurts oh my gosh that was something else of course I respect that co the, the culture and the tradition and belief of those who are to take part in this event but you can't help I, you can't blame me to frighten. This is not something you see every day. And I'm sure for some persons even living in Thailand, this is not something you see every day. I mean, they just took the thing and right for the guy cheeks. And it's like, he's not... So they have to hold the stuff for the the day. What we the sooner like the women are not doing it, I mainly listen the men with the with the stuff for their body, like for the. Wow, there's there's a lot of culture and 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 religion in Thailand. There's a lot. And, and the things under the shape of those things, there, he's he's ready, he's ready, but he's nervous, he's shaking. Oh my God, they're shaking, they're all shaking. This cannot be. Oh. This one is not bad. It's a small pin. That guy with the big thing in his throat. Oh my God, just like sticking it for like. to this okay this is, <laughs> this is my reaction to this i respect what they're doing but i am reacting to it it is scary why should the guy have a cage he have a cage my my gosh the better hope no one don't and this guy is he's, he's putting it up that's a jacket there wow I'm, I'm curious as to what happens after the festival, like after they've done that to the chick and like whatever part, mainly the chick with these massive holes, do they go and get it sewed back? Um, is it sewed so that they could cure and eat normal? That is some, oh gosh, oh that's a girl there, I find it. oh I'm menacing guys but I think I finally saw a girl there, she had one. Yeah, and answer me this. Do they get it stitched back after this event? Whoa. And the good thing is that they said it's by medical professional. They're the ones who are actually doing it. So they know exactly how to do it. And I'm hoping that they give give them anesthesia, you know, like the injection for them not to feel that pain. Because that can be so very painful. Wow. Hey! Hey! And I, oh, oh. I, 
The guy had an amber on his mouth. That is his tongue, actually, his tongue. And by the way, why not like uh, something like a fruit? I thought they would do like a zucchini or something in their mouth because it's like a veg vegetarian festival. I thought it would be like a banana or something, you know what I mean? It's like a whole, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, here's another girl. Here's a girl with one in her mouth. There's another girl, and she have to walk carefully because if you see that knock and that, oh, that could be so dangerous. Wow. Yo. Didn't you see that guy with how many pins in his mouth? Like all oh, through. Oh my God! Look at this guy. Wow, one thing they've got a lot of persons there at the ceremony for this event or festival. <laughs> Granny's so cute. 